right? Um, well, it was kind of just, it went right out from the band, really, like, really, 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 Hey everybody, I'm Chanel Herlin for the New Music Buzz and right now we're at the Dolby Theatre for Paley Fest for NCIS Los Angeles. We're going to speak to the cast, so let's check it out. I'm just going undercover? Cool. It's super cool. Really? Reconnect with nature and with each other. You know how many horror movies they shoot out here? There's nothing to be afraid of. You gotta see this. Wow, I did not see that coming. So you guys are well into the eighth season. Why do you think your fans love the show so much? I mean, I would have to think they enjoy the relationships on the show. The characters have genuine love and affection for each other, and I think that translates. And as a cast, you have that love and affection for each other. What's it like working together? We do. We're like a big, old-fashioned family. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like like the youngest daughter, obviously, um, but but we all look look out for each other, you know, and we, we have a good time working together. As cheesy as it sounds. <laughs> well, that's good. Then it's not really work, right? It's just going to have fun. No, it's going to hang out with my friends all day, so I'm cool with that. And when you read the scripts, what do you love most about the writing, the storyline? The humor. I'm a big comedy girl. I like to laugh. I'd rather laugh than cry. Um, and like my grandma always said, you better laugh or else you're going to cry. So, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love how our show incorporates comedy. And I think this year we really dialed up the comedy. Um, our executive producer, Scott Gemmel, is hysterical. He is like, he, he's one of the funniest people I know or I've had the pleasure to meet. So, so yeah, so his scripts are always a wild ride. What have I loved most about this season? Well, so much has happened with my character. Um, you know, I think because Daniela was pregnant and we um, and we had to kind of shoot around that and her character was kind of out of the, out of the, the um the, the office we I got to kind of take up some of that slack so I got to you know learn how to use a, shoot a gun and um, blow up some you know bad guys and I got a kiss from this little lady here Nell Jones you know so like things are really advancing for my character and he's she's growing a lot and when you read the scripts what do you love most that the writers do to keep it interesting I think I think it's the humor it's always the humor for me um, yeah I mean we we thrive on that, you know. Um, I th I think just the sillier and the 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 dumber my character is, I, the more I just lean into it, um, and I appreciate that because I think the writers uh, they trust me and I trust them, you know, that they're gonna write me some good stuff and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, you know I'm gonna justify that that nuttiness, you know. Um, and I think my character of maybe all of them is is kind of like the goofiest. Like he, I can, I lean into that and I'm and they and I'm glad they don't shy away from that. I'm glad they write it for me. Yeah. We're just having a joint interview here. <laughs> Have you guys seen this jawline? Have you seen this jawline? <laughs> We've got mutual jawline admiration society. <laughs> Where's Renee? We need Renee. She's <laughs> We're missing Renee. She's the third jawline she in is this the jawline. Jawline. She's over there. <laughs> All right. Well, we just wanted the trio of jawlines. I'm just gonna. You can we just should talk have our own show. I'll be, I'll be silent. Why? I'm just because I want to be here. Because I've already been. I've barely been answered questions, but I just want to be here next to you. Is that okay? Yes. Can I share airspace with you? Yeah. Always, yes. I miss you. This guy, by the way, I don't know that anybody knows, but when we were auditioning for the show in season one, um, in the pilots, he had, you originally you just had like a couple lines as like the guy who was on the computer giving us information, and they loved him so much that they actually hired him on as a regular for when the show started. That's so nice. What a cool story. at that. Thanks, love. It's true. So what do you love most about the show? Because, I mean, there's so much happening. Everyone's saying the humor. Do you love something else that you could add? The humor is great. <laughs> <laughs> original, real original. <laughs> yeah, the comedy is so good. Um, what do I have to add? No, I love the balance in this show. I mean, we have this amazing action where literally we do an action movie every seven days. Um, you know, movies take months, you know, to shoot, and, and we do it in seven days. So I have a huge admiration for, you know, the special effects guys and our stunt guys, of course, because I'm married to one. Wink. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the action, the drama, I think that they drive the characters so interestingly. Like, there's always a goal for these characters to strive towards. Um, you know, we're never sort of aimless. I don't mean solving cases, I mean in life. You know, you've got Kenzie and Deeks who look forward to being together, and they have all these obstacles that they're constantly having to jump over um, and figure out, and every time that happens, they get closer together. Um, and then, you know, these guys going out on the field for the first time, that's really fun to see some changes, you know what I mean? So, it's good. 
But like you said, you're a wife, you're a mum. Yes. Have you had to use any of the skills that you've learned on the show to control the household? I have kung fu chopped my husband many times. No. <laughs> but you, I've seen on your Instagram, you're amazing how creative you are with your fitness and being a mum in the pram. Oh, thank you. Um, I mean, don't. I'm not going to take all the credit for it. I've seen other people doing that. I didn't come up with it myself. But I think the point is, you know, you go online and there's a lot of fitness things on, you know, accounts on Instagram. And um, I am a mom and I do like being fit and healthy. Um, but I also don't want to miss out on time with my kids. So, of course, I have my own time where I go to the gym. But for the most part, if I can incorporate them in my workout, it's great. And it becomes an example for them. So, you know, you do your research and you find ideas of things to do. And, you know, I'm not a physiotherapist. I'm not a trainer. I'm not somebody with professional or academic experience or, you know. But you're pretty impressive and it's inspiring. <laughs> so, LL, we've seen you now on eight seasons of NCIS. We've seen your lip sync battle. You've teased us. When are we going to get some new music, man? You know what? I don't know. I'm just really focused on television right now between the two shows. And I, I, do, I, I do my live music. Like, I had a concert this weekend. I did Jazz in the Garden. This festival in, in Miami that was amazing, um, but in terms of the studio, I just haven't haven't been going in. But you know, I still love music. I always love music, and I'll never forget where I came from, regardless of whether I go in the studio or not. I'm, and I still do the concerts. So, you know, that's musically right now. All I can give you is the tours. Man, just wake up really, really early in the morning and cuss a lot. You know what I mean? On my way to the gym. But I have to do it. I'm thankful I can do it. And, uh, you know, just try to do the best I can. And, you know, instead of eating four Twinkies, I eat a Twinkie and a half. You know what I mean? And I do my best. Yeah. Eight years is a long time. Eight years, you know, eight years is not like getting ready for a music video. It is not the same. Okay? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So, Chris, it's been eight seasons. Why do you think the fans love the show so much? Well, I think that, uh, you know, they fall in love with the characters, which is kind of the trick to any television show that lasts that long. Um, we were real fortunate out of the gate, having been launched from the original NCIO show, and so those, those fans gave us a chance, and they sampled our show. A lot of them liked it. A lot of fans came in that had grown up watching myself in films and LL and all the other actors. And, you know, suddenly people start to watch and they say, hey, I kind of like that. And that's really the only way they'll stick with you. Because the storylines, you know, you, it's hard to constantly come up with the next crazy storyline when you're doing 26 episodes a year. So it's really about creating characters that have real relationships and real feelings and emotions and having an audience connect with them. You have a real bromance on the show. Do you guys just go out together? Just you know, when you're not on set, like, you, did you guys celebrate St. Patty's Day together? Because I know you have, I know you have Irish in you. Uh, we did not celebrate St. Patty's Day. We we've been out a few times. We we spend an awful lot of time together uh, at work every day. But um, I love the guy, and we have a great relationship. I think that um, you know, part of what gets me through the day is sitting there trying to drive him crazy all day, and just laughing and having a good time. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, he's the man. He's, he's, you know, there's nobody cooler, right? I think what's great about this cast is, you know, so this is eight years. So this is like going to high school and college with the same people. You see them every single day. You rock and roll. And everyone here, I think, knows how lucky we are to have the success and the fans that we have. And when you appreciate that, it makes it easy. And I think, I feel like this is a group that could have fun doing anything. And you'll see that, you know, today. And you saw it two years ago at Paley Fest is that this, it works because, you know, between Scott Gemmel and our producers and the cast and crew, it's just, it's a good group. And watching the show, you guys have a lot of chemistry. And then, I mean, on the carpet here today, I can tell you guys are joking around and everything. So on set, is this ever a day where you guys just goofing off all day and no work is, no work is done? We're very good at balancing out the work and the play. I mean, we're always joking around, but we have to make a TV show in seven days and blow stuff up and race cars. So we're all very good at, at you know, joking around and then getting into it. Um, and it's funny because you're, you know, you've got guns and there's stuff exploding and everybody's making jokes and they say action and everybody's just showing around like he's going to get the gun and there's action and people are dancing. And, I mean, it, it, there's very quick transitions in and out of, out of, you know, fires are burning and things are blowing up and, and then, you know, and then you got to get into it, but it's, it's, it's fun. So have you used any of the skills that you've learned now on the show to keep the house cold <laughs> at base? At the what? At what keep it the be? household calm and collected. 
I can't. I could sit here and tell you stories for an hour of all the times that something's happened, and instinct after doing the show for this many episodes kicks in, and I think I'm a an FBI agent. <laughs> My Give wife, me one story. Um, they're so long. There's one. Okay, I'll do. I'll tell a short one. My wife is pregnant, and we're doing walks every day. So she's walking five miles. I get home from work. No matter time it is, we do a walk, and it's this super sketchy like little neighborhood by us that this guy jumps over a fence. And I, so that's kind of odd. He had a backpack, he jumps over a fence. And, and then I, I stop for a second. She goes, baby, don't. And I hear a scream. And I go, that's it. And I book it. And I go and I jump the same fence. And my wife goes, you're not a real agent. <laughs> and I banged on the door. And it was like someone that she knew and he didn't have the key. But she did scream. And then she's like, and she watches the show. And she's like, what are you, what are you doing here? <laughs> And I was like, I heard the scream, and she was like, are you a real, like, what? she was, her mind was blown. My wife is just sitting there in the girl, just waiting for me to get shot by someone. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And I, can, and I have, like, six of those where something happens, and I just, because it becomes second nature. Like, the first couple times they give you a gun on set, you're like, oh, my God, I got a gun. Now they hand me a gun, and it's like, you know, it's just like cakewalk. So, so let me ask, man, how many more seasons do you think? In, a, in CIS Los Angeles. That is up to everyone watching this right now. I think that the reason this show has, has you know, continued for so long is they've moved us nights. We were Tuesday, and then we were late on Tuesday, and then they moved us to Monday nights, and now we're Sunday nights, and the numbers went up 24% this year. Like, every other show on television is going down, and we went up this year, and I think that's a tribute to everybody that has stuck with us and found us as we've continued to move around. And I think that's a tribute to the, to, the, to the writers and the cast and the crew and the people putting the hours in. I mean, it's a, it's a magical kind of roller coaster to be on. My name is Renee Felice Smith. Hey, I'm Barrett Follett. What's up, you guys? I am Daniela Rue. Uh, Eric Christian Olsen. My name is LL Cool J. You've just been buzzed. Yeah.